canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambain Nikolad seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands, and especially Georgia, where President... The vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolads a man with his eyes on the future. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine and we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSAT. And that's how we're handling training? Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, Sam, let's get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. That means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Great. Now the one on your right. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher, we'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge, over that pool. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it.
Good job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. The next door is locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lockpicks to get through it. Next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Uh, not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? 28469. It was a pleasure working with you. Likewise. 28469. Oh. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner, usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. You've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at four, you're lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Some cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them.
Sometimes the only way to pass a camel will be to stick to existing shadows and time your movements. hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. Ow! Okay now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. Sam, remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. Have you started yet? Fisher! Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey. I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Combe Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. You're not out there alone, Fisher. 
Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is third echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. Fisher, the sun's down. stairwell at the far end. Make it fast. You've only got a few seconds. Jesus, but that was close. Take a left just ahead and cut through the room. You'll find a stairwell on the opposite corner. Take it to the top floor. Room. Let's hope to God he's still alive. Gergen Yeah. I'm NSA. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm as good as dead. You're looking for Blaustein and Madison. Yeah. Madison was deep into Nikolaz's cabinet. She was onto something big. Blaustein must have figured it out. How do I find him? Blaustein's black box, the tracking relay for his subdermals. It's stashed in his safe house just east of Moravi Square. Lambert, do we have resources to evac this guy? I said don't bother. Whatever Madison found, it's big. She kept saying proof would mean war. I think Nikolaj wanted... Oh. Gergenidze checked out. Leave the corpse for the fire. It has to explain to his family. You've got a safe exit on the west side of the room. Take it. There's too much smoke. Shoot out the skylight. That was pretty tight. Still breathing? Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. If he's running standard agency tradecraft, you'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or wall panel. Who is that? Those are my orders. I speak to Vyacheslav Grinko or nobody. As Grinko, yes, sir. This is Ketevan. We finished searching the American's apartment. There is nothing else there. The five more bugs, two cameras, and some electronics we can't ID. They are already on their way to the ministry. Too of course. Much coffee. Thank I'm you, getting sir. Getting jittery. <laughs>
Dang! What's the news? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? Nope. Nice of them to share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. The last active position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your ops at. Fisher, I'm rescinding my street level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. These cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not gonna want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you gotta do to find those missing spooks. What do you think you're doing? Prison cells don't come cheap these days. The real estate is closer to your rent in the morgue. Slabs are going for cheap. Yeah, I think we could set you up with this slab real easy. I've done nothing. Please. Nothing? How about drunk and disorderly? Assaulting a police officer? Slandering the badge? You said we're associated with criminals. Ah, uh, then arrest me. I must sleep. Weren't you listening? The rent got I heard something. It's probably not my problem. Something move. I think I heard something.
that? I was imagining things. the hell?
Too much coffee. I'm getting jittery. How the hell? How did that happen? It was probably nothing. Must have been nothing. What the hell? Something moved.
False move and you're dead. I need information. Um, okay. I'm looking for two Americans. Probably dead. I. Gringo will kill me. Duh. Where are they? Nearby. The morgue. They're dead. I helped the mortician find the microchips under their scalps. The subdermals. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. That's all I know. Duh. I suit. I've got agents Blaustein and Madison. Rest in peace. Somebody cut out their subdermals. Where do we go from here? We follow the subdermals if we can. Mm. There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video archives. The station surveillance room is on the top floor. to your superior. Perhaps I can help you, sir. By fetching your superior. I'm all there is. How can I help you? I'd like to register a complaint. Then you'll have to ask at the desk to your right. Very well. May I help you? You're the same cop. Yes, but this is the public relations desk. Fuck.
Great work, Fisher. We're scanning the videotapes now. There. That's our guy. We got him red-handed. Can you run his face through Echelon? Already on it. Hey, check it out. A license plate. 84KP214. Fantastic. Fisher, we got what we need. Rendezvous with Wilkes, your work here is done. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. a steady rise in Georgia's economy. Once central to the former Soviet Union's development and manufacture of weapons, Georgia has recently resurfaced as a potential player in the world military industry, with active contracts in Russia, Turkey, Germany, and even has stated the need, especially in these times, for a reliable source of oil in the Middle East. Commerce Secretary Moore, on a visit to Azerbaijan this morning, noted the tiny nation's enormous potential for oil, calling on American investors to provide the necessary funds for tapping the reserves. In many ways, a leader from a bygone era. His beliefs are very firmly founded in Georgian orthodoxy. His political standings more in line with the early 20th century. Would you fault him then as a politician? No, no, not at all. Kumbe Nikolaitz is all politician. He's done wonders for the Georgian economy. A brilliant tactician. It's more a question of ethics. And ethically speaking? Well... Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Vinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grimm's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over.
What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I... Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Grinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nicholas. Where do I find Rinko? He is meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mass, some computer guy. He has access to Nicholas's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nicholas is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good. Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of me. I want to hear what Grinko and Mass talk about in that elevator. I'll need to deactivate the courtyard laser grid to get in position. Then do it. I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kobayashvili. Ah, excellent. <laughs> May I? Please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.
Who did that? I heard some... Got an incoming colonel, Fisher. Make the most of him. You'll need him conscious Who and cooperative that? if you want to unlock the retinal scanner sealing the door to the courtyard. That's detailed intelligence. Knowing everything is my job. The glass elevator's in motion. Make with the laser, Mike Fisher. It's mission critical that we hear what Grinko and Mass say before they reach the top. Savages. 
What did you rip it out with? Pliers? We had some difficulty with Blostein's chip. You can see fibers of muscle tissue still attached. Nasty. Nasty. You're in the wrong line of work to avoid getting gore on your hands. Whatever Nicolaj does in Azerbaijan is his own conscience's burden. You are just a tool? You're a tool. I'm the technology. I'm the cleanup man. All the blood's on yours and Nicolaj's hands. I'm clean. And it is? It's what? Clean. Azerbaijan? Yeah, man. The operation's goddamn immaculate. Except for the files, Nicolaj insists on keeping on his own machine. You need to talk to that. Sounds like we found the subdermals. I get nervous when the bad guys start making blood jokes. That conversation's going straight to the Joint Chiefs, and we're going to need more. Nicolaj's computer. You guessed it. Get inside his office and access that machine. Alarms aren't mission critical anymore. We're moving into Fifth Freedom territory. Kind of for I heard something. Unidentified. Some kind of foreign...
security camp. Surveillance camp showing enemy troops. Christ Almighty. What do you have? Bad things. Keep transmitting. We need to see how far this goes. What's going on? Corpses, refugee camps. They've had commandos at work in Azerbaijan for weeks. How the hell did we miss this? Keep transmitting. Alert! All men to full alert! We have an intruder in Nikolaj's office! Wake up, you bastard! I want troops in there now! Trinko, sir. I've got three men about to breach Nikolaj's office. Calm the area. Fisher, we need the rest of the files from Nikolaj's computer. This stuff is going straight to the president. He might be headed for military action, and we're going to need airtight proof. He's dead. That's the end of it. Thank God. What exactly is going on? You wouldn't believe the numbers. Nikoladze has been systematically murdering his way through Azerbaijan. And we didn't know about it. Nobody did. What does he want? You can watch the news later. Rendezvous with Junior Wilkes for extraction. Nikoladze's office is clear. 
We're heading for the rear gangway. Where are you? I want an update. Why hasn't the intruder been caught yet? Do we have men on the rear stairwell? About to reach the stairwell, sir. What the hell did you find in there, man? Lambert's flipping out big time. What's he saying? That we're going to war. <laughs> <laughs> 